Hi everybody, how are you this morning? Another foggy day here. Not good. <laughs> oh great, lots of you here. Hi Terry, hi Marg, hi Chloe. Hi Jill, hi Kerry. Hi Emery, hi Denise, hi Diane, hi Lisa, hi Mark, did I say hi Mark, hi, <laughs> hi everybody, hi Stephen, hi Carrie, hi, Um, today, I'm painting, going to paint some, someone asked me to do some sweet peas, so I'm going to do some, I have got another video of me painting sweet peas, but it's from a few years ago, I haven't done one live. <laughs> um, let me just start off by showing you what paper I've got, this is this paper, Hammond Mew Mew, <laughs> however you say it, it's £300 not 300 pounds, it's 140 pounds, which is 300 gram, um, cold pressed and it's fine grain and it's stuck in a block and it's 40 by 40 centimetres and you get 30 sheets in there and I'm probably going to be using this brush that is my old favourite at the minute that needs replacing. <laughs> it's a Royal Langnickel synthetic really cheap brush number 16 round but it's got a really nice point on it although it's starting to get a bit fluffy at the end. Now, I still haven't found my headphones. Goodness knows where they are. So sorry if you hear a like glitchy sound. I'm having to use a different mic and it picks up a glitchy sound. So I haven't found my other ones I normally use. They've disappeared. <laughs> I'm going to have to ask my daughter if she's put them somewhere. I don't know. Goodness knows where they are. Um, my palette is a mixture of different colours, mainly, not different colours, of different makes of paint, mainly Windsor Newton, Daniel Smith and Mission paint is what's mainly there. Yeah, it's just a bit of buzzing on my microphone, but it's, you can still hear me, so there we go. <laughs> Yeah, Cyril's probably buried them. No, he doesn't steal stuff. He's a good boy. <laughs> I've got, I like, no idea where they are. Let me just look under here, actually. I can't, like, they've just disappeared. It's like, me. I, I normally lose them, but I find them really quickly. But now, goodness, goodness knows where they are. Excuse my squeaky chair. It's very squeaky this morning, unless I'm just a bit fidgety. I'm going to start painting. <laughs> um, uh, sorry guys, I haven't changed my water again. Oops. <laughs> it's a nice, dirty, yucky colour. Yucky. I'll have to try not to um, lick my brush. <laughs> They're not in my hair. Don't be silly. Although I'm never sure what's in my hair. Uh, I'm going to do uh, purpley ones, I think, today. Pur oh, purpley, pink, so I don't know. Whatever they come out like. Oops, sorry, my um, iPad that I used to look at your chat. Is, look at the chat. has fallen down. Sorry a minute. <laughs> Hi, Christine. Hi, Isla. Yes, I did I say that right? <laughs> um, I'm not sure where to start. Yeah, I'm, I'm good. I will. I've got some purple colour on my brush. Um, 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 I haven't got any sweet peas in my garden, so it's a bit early for them here. I've got loads. I've planted loads. I've used loads like from seed. So there we go. Started. <laughs> Hi, Jane. Okay, so that's like a bit of the leaf. They have like 
weird petals that are a bit froofy. But I'll just drop some other colours in. It will like look like a um oh I've run out of greeny gold. <gasps> Quick. Green gold, green gold. I want green gold because they're quite greeny gold. Get out of there. Oh, that's it. Oh, I need to get more paint. <gasps> do, do, do. <laughs> that is um, Green Gold by Winsor & Newton. It's a really nice green. And I use it a lot. And I've lost the lid. Bleach. <laughs> um, bleach. <laughs> I should get a lot of sweet peas. It's just a little bit early here. We're sort of much later than the rest of the UK because it's so bloody cold here. <laughs> There's no sun again today. I'm disappointed. Um, Um, um. I love the colour cobalt, oh gosh, violet, but once it's dried in my, um, it's Windsor & Newton cobalt, but once it's dried on my palette that I've got in here, it's really hard to um, activate it again, so I always have to like squirt some more out, it's expensive as well, it's annoying. But it's a nice colour. It's one of the chalky colours. Someone was asking about, um, what do you call them? Colours that, uh, I forgot what pea, sweet peas look like. <laughs> they look a bit like this. Anyway, yeah, someone was asking about how to avoid mud and avoid the chalky pigments like cadmiums and things. But I don't avoid them. And try not to mix them with any other colours. Yeah, it's just dull and foggy here. I hope it is. At least it's not raining. I just want to make these look a bit fruffier. Purple. Purple pencil, need to sharpen it. Oh. Sharpener. I'm just sort of dragging the paint around to make them look a bit more frillier because they are frillier. These are like impressionistic. Impressionistic, very impressionistic today. <laughs> um, sweet peas. I'll stick some leaves in somewhere. They have like the green that the stems are, they're quite bluey. I'm trying to put a bit of bluey green here. Leaf. This is my first leaf. I always hate the first leaf I do. They sort of come in twos as well, as far as I can remember. And then they have like swirly, whirly things. Let's do some swirly bits that cling on to things. Let's do stem. You can get some nice coloured ones, can't you? Let's do some reddish ones. Like that colour. That colour is um, a zillion crimson, <laughs> I think, or is it? Oh yeah, must be. Oh, I don't know. I thought something else mixed in with it. <laughs> I'm just trying to get the 
the shape of the flowers, not necessarily the botanical look of it. So as long as you can tell it's a sweet pea, I don't care. <laughs> Cammy, okay, I mean, you tried some bleach and it didn't work. Um, try it a bit waterier. Yeah, my thick bleach doesn't work as well. And also the it, the paint's got to be wet. It doesn't work on like dried out paint. So if your painting's already dry, it's not going to work. Oh, that's the thick one. That's the thinner bleach. But it does not work if your paint is dry. This just looks like a blob. Yeah. <laughs> Doing. Sorry, I was reading the chat. <laughs> yeah, cool. Um, yeah. Paint, that's what I'm doing. It's supposed to be, yeah. More leaves in. I don't, I'm not sure where they come from. They're not sure if they're right in the right place, but hey ho. All right, thanks, Joan. When I looked on Facebook this morning, there's um, <laughs> lots of uh, cats been catching mice and things. It must be like the mousy season and everybody's horrified. And Cyril ate a, a, um, a vole in front of me the other day. Disgusting. <laughs> he spent a little while trying to catch it. <laughs> Um, let's do some purpley blue ones, I think. I think I need some purpley blue ones in here. Oh no, that's mud. See, I just created mud. <laughs> Don't want that colour. Patricia's asking me how long I've been painting. Um, I've been painting, well, I've never really not painted, I think. <laughs> See, that's a question. So, but I've been painting like watercolours for 35 years or even more actually. Say so probably, yeah, about 35 years. So that's, that's why I make it look so easy. People keep moaning at me that I make things look too easy, but there we go. I've got 35 years experience. <laughs> 
I think I sold my first watercolour painting. Someone asked me to paint some windsurfers. That was a feat. I used to paint things um, more um, photorealistic when I was younger. I used to spend ages, but my first sort of painting I sold was um, some windsurfers. This was back in the 80s. <laughs> oh, thank you, Kate. <laughs> Yeah, opera pink might make it a sweet pea, but I've been trying to stay away from opera pink for the minute. It's taking over my life. <laughs> and then when I tried tried to um print it out, it um it doesn't like printing. It's the luminous colour of it, but it's pretty. <laughs> Oh, does she mean how long I've been painting today? Not long. <laughs> I don't know. I like how things get misinterpreted on such places. <laughs> I don't know. Well, I told you now. Sticking, sticking some more bleach in. And just scribble. Oh, this is a graphite because I liked the. Some people hate pencil marks. I hate pencil marks when I'm painting, but on some paintings, I really like pencil marks. I'm going to make a sort of a purpley blue. Well, it's not quite purpley blue, it's going to be sort of grey because I've made mud. Let's stick some more colours in. Do you get blue ones? Yeah. I have a work on Facebook this morning. Oh, what did I put up? I can't remember. Stolen Kiss one. Yeah, I like that painting. <laughs> it's my other work. It's my stuff that is not um, watercolours. <laughs> I can't paint that line very well. It takes too long. <laughs> yeah, I'd be here all day painting. I wonder if you can do that. Maybe I'll do a live studio day where I'm just like, you're with me for the whole day. <laughs> oh, thank you, Kate. Kate's just put up a link to my other Etsy shop with my other work on, but um, I haven't, I'm not sure if I've put much in there. Did I put some more in? I forget what I've listed. <laughs> I forget. <laughs> mm. I've been telling <laughs> my quails. Chloe's been talking about my quails then. Yeah, I've been telling them off because they haven't been laying. And then I looked in the top compartment where they don't often go and there was like 10 eggs up <laughs> I had to apologise to them. I thought it, because it had turned cold, they hadn't bothered to lay anything. They're a bit particular. But they've been laying, much to um, Cyril's delight. Cyril is the benefiter of most of the quail eggs because he likes to eat them. And he also likes to annoy them as well. some more leaves I'm trying to do swirly whirly bits 
Um, my quails, they're beautiful. <laughs> they're just so, they just sort of sit there and then they, they don't bite or anything. They peck at each other. But I think that's um, their mating sort of thing. But they're lovely little birds there. I've got different coloured ones. I've only got four at the minute. But they're really nice. They're smelly. <laughs> Cyril likes them. He'd like to eat them. He has had a few. Shh. Yeah, quail's eggs are nice. But I don't get to eat them at the minute because seals, seal, seal, seal <laughs> Cyril <laughs> looks at me with his sad eyes when I get them out the cage. So he wants them. So he has to have them. He's not spoiled at all. <laughs> My daughter was just telling me how spoiled he was yesterday. But. He deserves it. <laughs> Marge said, don't they make him gassy? I don't know. He's got a bit gassier lately, but I put that down to old age. Because <laughs> he's old man farts now. But he does in insist on sleeping with his um, bottom in my face, which isn't good. <laughs> Thank you, Amory. <laughs> I'm going to put another purpley one here. Oh, that's not purple. Let's come out red. Ready purple then. That one can be that colour. Not fussed. <laughs> it can be a multicoloured one. Oh, that's really bright, that one. Go. I think I've picked up a bit of the um, purple, which is the Daniel Smith, not Daniel Smith, the Dr. P.H. Martins. I did put some of those in there. Let's just make them into frilly sweet peas. I suppose they look a bit... I haven't got the petals right on my sweet peas. I know that because I can't remember what they look like properly. But I've got the sort of essence of them, as I like to call it. It doesn't matter, does it? As long as it looks a bit like a sweet pea. <laughs> You've got orangey, red, tiny beetles. They're not um, lily beetles, are they? Um, or spider mites. Of tiny, tiny, tiny little spider red things. They like eating. But um, I've got red lily beetles on. It's eaten one of my... Um, lilies my tropical lilies that's really annoying <laughs> i want to put something up here but um i don't know maybe another purpley one oh i've got green don't mix green and colors together that makes mud <laughs> get out I don't know what a desert strip pea flowers are. Don't know what they are. Don't think I've heard of those. I'll have to Google them. <laughs> what do they look like? I've got these like sweet peas that are um, perennial, not perennials, annuals that come up. I don't know what they're called exactly. And then you can get all different kinds of sweet peas. Some sweet pea growers are very, um, what do you call it, particular <laughs> about how they grow their sweet peas, aren't they? They're very serious, serious sweet pea growers. 
I had some fantastic ones. I think it was the year before last or something. I don't know. Oh, I got my brushes too. I, I know what brush would have been great for these. That's my wibbly wobbly sword brush. <laughs> Anyway, I'm not going to do any more to this because I quite like its um, scribbliness as such. And she says as she pulls out her pencil to draw a bit more. I just. to make the wibbles. <laughs> I'll have to Google it, Kerry. I've never heard of it. Never heard. <laughs> Thank you, Mug. Ooh, that was just blotting, blotting some bits. Because I've got pools of water. It shows how much... Um, water I use because it's still really wet even though I've been like painting for half an hour yeah I love sweet peas I hope mine grow they are out I did plant them out the other week I've still got some more to plant out actually I haven't been in my greenhouse the weather's been horrible. Anyway, I finished this one. <laughs> and I've listed a few more on Etsy. And thank you to everyone who's bought a painting. Much appreciated. And remember the ones that are big like this, I, I roll them because um, they cost a lot otherwise to send. I will show you this tomorrow when they are all dry and sweet pee. <laughs> anyway, thanks everybody for joining me and it's a short one today. <laughs> and I will see you see you tomorrow. Bye.